DocAv Extender is a new tool from AvPoint, and it's part of the DocAv Storage Optimization Suite. Over time, two, three, four years, there's going to be a tremendous buildup of data inside your SharePoint farm. And a lot of that content is going to be inactive data, things like uh, maybe old documents or abandoned team sites. The problem is, how do you manage it over time? Since SharePoint stores all of its content in a content database, over time, your SharePoint server is going to start slowing down and degrading from a performance point of view. The storage optimization suite tools are designed to address that problem. For example, you may want to manage the growth of data by moving content from SQL Server to a file share or leveraging legacy systems, whether it's a document management system or maybe an old mid-range AS400 that has lots of storage. Take advantage of that space that you already own. Move the old content onto that space. In some cases, you can actually move content into the cloud. That's becoming very popular, and this tool also enables that. DocAv Extender, specifically, is a way to prevent large, binary large objects, these blobs, from even making it into your SQL Server database. Um, for, if you want to think of it as a filter or kind of a firewall in front of SharePoint that's going to prevent users from putting large files in the database and giving you a way to define rules about how big the file should be, what type of files should be stored in SQL Server versus moved off into another location. If we look at an example here, we have a user who is trying to upload to SharePoint. Now, the extender is going to split the upload, and this is assuming that the upload is uh, maybe a large file that fits the criteria that we have set up for DocAv Extender. So to the user, it looks like the file is uploaded. And in fact, the metadata is uploaded to SQL Server along with the stub. But the actual file itself, the blob, the binary large object, is going to go to disk storage, which is a file share somewhere. Now when they access the data, it looks exactly the same. SQL Server actually goes out, finds the stub, and then loads the content from a file share. If I look at the storage optimization tab, you can see I have archiver, extender, and connector. Let's look at the extender. There's two options under extender. There's a real-time archiving option and a convert stubs to content option. The real-time archiving basically lets you set up which devices or which web front ends in your SharePoint farm um, it's going to be um, auditing or listening to. And it lets you put in criteria around the type of documents, um, what size the documents should be before they're moved into a file share, where those file shares are um, in your environment, and what kind of compression or encryption do you want to do on those documents. Pretty straightforward. 